Lee Johnson from Weatherby was just 24 when he died from sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, or SUDEP. At the time, Lee, a keen sportsman, had just been told he'd been selected to coach football abroad, with the sport being one of his true loves. An avid Leeds fan, Lee was looking forward to the new challenge. That night, he fell asleep, as we all do, but never woke up. Over the past five years, his dad Simon, mother Vicky and sister Becky have worked tirelessly raising £200,000 through Lee's Smiles charity. And yesterday, a new epilepsy suite was dedicated in Lee's memory, where £60,000 was donated for video telemetry equipment. The equipment collates heart and brain data from epilepsy patients, and this can help in the diagnosis and medical treatment into SUDEP. And since being installed, it's already helped 10 patients. In terms of actually what video telemetry does, it uh, enables us to better target surgical treatment. So we're actually looking at where seizures are coming from, and that enables us to plan surgery more effectively. The donation from the Lee Smile charity has enabled us to upgrade to more high definition cameras and more state of the art monitoring. Um, so, so overall, the, the quality of the equipment that we're now using in Leeds is probably some of the best in the country. The family have received regular messages of support from Prime Minister David Cameron and his wife Samantha, whose son Ivan had the same condition and died aged six in 2009. For Lee's dad Simon, there's a feeling that his son is spurring him on. We are, as a family, convinced that Lee, and we have to believe this, that Lee is watching everything we're doing. And I'm convinced that uh, we're doing things because he's, he's pushing me to do it, you know, with his enthusiasm, you know. Uh, you know, if, if he's, if he's you know, watching from above saying, don't stop, Dad, then that's, that means don't stop, Dad. You know, keep on doing it um, in his memory. His mates in Manchester, where Lee worked, um, have always said that Lee was the most enthusiastic guy you could ever wish to meet. You know, everything was done with a smile. Um, he was superbly and supremely loyal to his friends, to us, and to his work, uh, his work employers. It's it's really important to, for us to know that um, he hasn't died completely in vain. You know, we miss him like you wouldn't believe, but to know that. Um, his, his, his death has um, enabled people who suffer from epilepsy to have the state-of-the-art equipment treatments uh, in our hometown is, is, is a real, a real plus for us. Lee touched many lives and is fondly remembered by all who knew him. And it's through his smile that his legacy will live on. From the air, I'm Mark Kellish-Levine.